everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. Today we're going to be doing an example about how to convert spherical coordinates and in this case we're going to be converting them to cylindrical coordinates. The spherical coordinates that we're given are 3 pi over 2 and pi for our spherical coordinate and we're going to take that and convert it to um, a cylindrical coordinate. So the formulas we're going to need to do that are the following. First of all, we have to recognize that when we have spherical coordinates, they are given to us in this form here, um, in the form instead of like um, rectangular or Cartesian coordinates are x, y, z. Spherical coordinates are rho, phi, or phi. I still don't know how to say that. If you know, please send me an email because I don't know. Um, but rho, um, we'll go with uh, phi and theta. And then we're going to um, convert that to cylindri cylindrical coordinates, which are in the form r, theta, and z. So um, this is the conversion we're going to be using, and the formulas we need to find r, theta, and z are these three here. So notice that um, the formulas we're using, r, theta, and z, will give us our um, cylindrical coordinates here, and the um, formulas are in the form or contain the variables that are over here in our cylindrical coordinates. So the left hand side here are the um, cylindrical coordinates that we're working toward. The right hand side here are the spherical coordinates which we're going to get from our original spherical coordinate in our case 3 pi over 2 and pi. So the first thing we'll do is um, write out our three equations here. So we'll take rho in our case 3 and plug it in um, over here for um, in, in our formula for R and then we're going to take um, uh, we're also going to take pi for theta and, and plug it in here for theta into our um, equation for R. Theta in terms of cylindrical coordinates is going to be equal to um, phi over here in our spherical coordinates which we'll grab from our original coordinate uh, pi over 2 so we set up that equation and then to set up z, we say z is equal to um, 3 cosine of um, pi because we grab rho from um, our original coordinate as 3 and theta from our original coordinate as pi. So we just put those variables into these formulas. We set these three up like this. And um, now it's just a matter of simplifying these formulas and then collecting r, theta, and z into one coordinate um, to get your cylindrical coordinate. So the only simplification required is to simplify sine of pi and cosine of pi. Um, we can either use the unit circle to simplify or you can just plug this into your calculator, whatever easiest for you. Um, sine of pi on the unit circle is um, zero, the value at um, the angle pi on the unit circle uh, for the y coordinate, which is sine is equal to zero. So we plug in zero for sine of pi and we get three times zero which is going to be equal to zero. Theta is still equal to pi over two, nothing we can do to simplify that one. And for z equals three cosine of pi, we will um, find cosine of pi on the unit circle. We're looking for the angle pi and then um, and then we're taking uh, the x coordinate at that angle which is cosine of that angle and cosine of pi ends up being negative one so we replace negative one, um, or we put negative one in place of cosine of pi, and we get three times negative one, which is gonna give us a negative three. So now that we've simplified as much as we can, we put these three values together in the order r, theta, z, and that'll give us our cylindrical coordinate. So our final answer ends up being zero, pi over two, negative three. And this is, um, this is in the form uh, r theta z, which is what we need for cylindrical coordinates. So we've successfully converted 3 pi over 2 pi in spherical coordinate form to 0 pi over 2 negative 3 in cylindrical coordinate form. So I hope that video helped you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.